Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name's Blaze, and it's time for the news. We're gonna go over the channel, the people, the future, and what's important. Let's get started. So, let's start with the channel and say the fact that you guys may have noticed we've gone back down to like one video on weekdays and every now and again two videos. This is partially due to the decline in views on Dragon Age. As much as I hate to say it, like, no one's been watching, and when no one watches, it makes it less likely that I'm actually going to do the video, especially if I'm by myself. In some cases, I know some people are going, oh man, that, that's a little crap, and in another case, it's like, well, if you guys really want me to keep going, let me know, put comments down, you know, put down something to let me know what you guys want, because I can't tell otherwise. And, and I'm kind of the big, I don't want to say CEO, I'm, I'm the big leadership piece for Eternal Flames. I have to make a lot of the harder decisions, and these aren't decisions I'm normally happy with. On the other hand, something for future is going to pop up, and you guys might like it, which will replace Dragon Age. Okay, let's go over some people, and uh, we'll, we'll just not worry too much about the channel beyond the missing videos and stuff like that. Me and Myra got married. It's official. She is officially my wife as of September 26, 2015. That is official. And it's absolutely wonderful and I'm beyond happy. For us, to be completely honest, it's kind of another day in the park because we've already been living together for two years. We've had to share some really bad times for two years, including the loss of family members, including the loss of friends. I mean, so much has gone on. It's unreal. Try and Shay are definitely having a hard time. Try is doing his best to kind of keep things in place while Shaylee is actually about to move, hence why she hasn't been on the channel much lately. We're hoping, like all Hades, that she will actually be able to rejoin us here soon because as of October 10th, 2015, um, Shaylee Roy will be moving to a new house and it is actually not that far away from where I live. So we'll hopefully be able to record more often considering now, you know, we're not as out of the way, like, way as compared to before because she lives on the other side of town, her work is in the middle of town, and I am on the other side of town, so, you know, it, it, that, that's just a commute, you know, that, that's kind of hard. Even if she wanted to visit me after work and do some videos with us, she, she really couldn't, it's, it's so far out of the way for her. So, on that note, let's go ahead and move on to the future and what that holds. Fallout 4. Yeah, you heard me. Fallout 4 is in your future. You guys don't even get saying this. I'm doing it. <laughs> and I'm going to have a blast doing it. Fallouts, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, most Bethesda games I am ecstatic over. And I can't wait to dig into that game. It's kind of a big thing for me. And I look forward to it. Also, probably ARC videos. We're getting good feedback on those. And I really look forward to it. I can't wait to dig into more ARC. The problem is, is the servers I'm on generally aren't the friendliest of places. So it makes things a little bit harder. But let me know what you guys think down below and we'll see what we can do. Okay, now to go over what's important. So, this is kind of important in a lot of big ways because it pertains to how we do videos. In some cases, people are asking, why don't you do more ARC videos? Why don't you do more of this, more of that? Why, why is this and that such a big deal? Why can't you just do more of this? And I'm going to be completely honest. In some cases, it's literally the fact that we get stomped out by copyright and right holding, which, in all due honesty, everything that we put on this channel does within reason, aside from art days, belong to someone else. When we do, like, say, Guild Wars 2, this is ArenaNet's property. They are letting us use this to make videos, and you guys are being nice enough to watch, and by all means, we're, you know, getting away with that. When we try and do Bethesda games, you know, Bethesda has to give us the rights to go, hey, you can do this. Same thing with, you know, Square Enix and all this stuff. It, it's all in their hands, and they get to say yes or no. That's very important. In other cases, stuff like ARC, you end up with political situations among players where there is infighting all the time. Where 
It does not make for good viewing if it's two kids having a pissing contest over who's got the bigger wang. You know, it's not good viewing. It's barely good playing. If it wasn't for the beasties and all that, the game would be just like Rust. But we're going to actually do a completely different video on that a little bit later. For now, just know that the important thing is, is we are trying our hardest, but we do have to work with other people and other companies and that is a big deal that is very important to us and for you to understand that we're not a big channel so we can't do certain videos on a whimsy because these companies will literally just string us out and we really don't have the funds to go into a court battle with some mega conglomerate we we, we wouldn't even get in the door they just shoo us aside take us for all we're worth and i got way too many bills as is on that note, you guys better take care, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you guys all next time. Also, in the background, that's Guild Wars 2, because ArenaNet's awesome, and they're nice enough to let us do this stuff. And uh, it's sped up a little bit because this is the PvP puzzle. Enjoy. Yes, I've done this way too many times. Yes, this is how I get my groove back in Guild Wars 2 for just jumping around. Later, everybody.